Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how exciting chemical biology is. The first question you may have is, what is chemical biology? And chemical biology is something in between chemistry and biology. However, you learned biochemistry in your undergraduate studies. What is the difference between biochemistry and chemical biology? If you understand the difference, you will understand chemical biology. In biochemistry, you start with biological events and try to understand biological events by chemical language. That is biochemistry. In chemical biology, you start from chemistry and create chemical tools to further understand biological events. The definition of chemical biology is chemistry-initiated biology. This is an exciting field of study that is complementary to biochemistry. The chemical biology is the field of study where chemists can take an initiative in biology. The chemical biology can be divided into two major categories. Number one, chemical probes for visualizing or dissecting biology. Number two, chemical tools for controlling or modulating biology. In either way, chemical biology provides chemical tools for understanding or controlling important biological events. In our laboratory, we do both. Today, let me focus on number two, chemical tools for controlling biology. How can we discover chemical tools? We use chemical libraries. Chemical libraries are large collections of divergent small molecules. Let me show you how they look like in our own lab. We have 70,000 synthetic small molecules in the chemical library freezers. For example, this single plate can hold 384 molecules. By adding each one of the molecules to the human cells, we have been discovering many mysterious molecules. These are examples from our own laboratory. I don't have enough time to show you all of them. What I'm going to do today is to show you one particular project we recently published, that is virus vaccine adjuvant discovery. For some reason, people recently became more educated and excited about viruses and vaccines. Even my mother knows about it. However, people are less familiar with the concept of vaccine adjuvant. So what is vaccine adjuvant? In human history, two major types of virus vaccines have been used for human use. Attenuated virus vaccine and split or subunit virus vaccine. Attenuated virus vaccine is basically weak versions of live vaccines. This type of vaccine activates antigen-presenting cells or immune cells to stimulate innate immune response. Innate immune response is essential for driving later stage of antigen-specific adaptive immune response, generating immunological memory. On the other hand, subunit or split vaccine consists of isolated antigens from viruses. This is not a virus anymore. They cannot activate innate immune response. That's why we need to add immune potentiators we call adjuvants. Adjuvants trigger early immune response to ensure the generation of long-lasting adaptive immune responses. So we decided to look for such activators of innate immune response. A chemical rivalry screening and organic synthesis allowed us to discover this molecule we named colicamide. Colicamide self-assembles together to form virus-like particles in water. The average diameter is 150 nanometer. Immune cells love this size of particles. How does this work? We spent money to make a summary video for you. Colicamide assembles together to form nano-sized virus-like particles. The immune cells love them, then take up into the cells through endocytosis. In the endosome, there are a couple of virus receptors. In this case, toll-like receptor 7 recognizes our assemblies to drive the innate immune response. Does it really work as vaccine adjuvant? The answer is yes. 
Mice were vaccinated twice with influenza vaccine. At day 34, we challenged the mice with these are those of very bad influenza virus. Within 10 days, all the mice died. The vaccination together with colicamide exhibited protection as good as Adam, which is a clinically used adjuvant. So we were very excited about these results. Chemistry students usually get the job, either in a material company or a pharmaceutical company. They hate each other. Colicamide may be categorized as something in between materials and pharmaceuticals. We have many other examples of self-assembly by active molecules, trying to create a new field of chemical biology. Thanks for watching.